Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for October 25th, 2021. Well, my goodness, this week we have a tremendous amount of earnings coming our way. About one third of the S&P 500, as well as about a third of the Dow, will report this week. So we can expect considerable volatility and that means some considerable risk considering the actual condition of the indexes so what does that mean well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the monday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. You know, one thing that has just been remarkable here recently is how much we have been willing to speculate on earnings reports and just take a look at just how far we have rallied in such a short period of time and yet we still have a huge round of earnings coming our way that could change this direction of the market very, very quickly. So I want to caution everyone to be very careful. We are so elevated in this market and I want you to notice that there is virtually no price support in this current price action um, for the move. Now we certainly have some price support in the chart itself, but in the recent price action, there is really no price support. It's just been all bid up in wild speculation on earnings. And as we've seen recently with the big disappointments of like Intel, Snap, IBM, there are significant consequences to uh, chasing stocks into these earnings reports, particularly if they're bid up heavily into their earnings report. So be really, really careful. Now that said, let's take a look at the Dow. Dow has certainly rallied a tremendous amount. We're setting new record highs here in the Dow. And although we were significantly lower in the pre-market overnight the futures, we have rallied all the way back up this morning. Um, in what seems to be just the typical protocol nowadays is we just bid everything up into the open, trying to get as many people to buy as we can at the open. And as you can see, we have some price support levels in here if we were to stumble and pull back. And they would be quite painful if we pulled back into those areas. Let's also take note at just how far. Notice that our 50-day moving average still is, hasn't even had a time to respond how flat it is, just exactly how far away we are from our 50-day moving average. If I go to the Dow itself, and let's just take a quick measure, we're going to open somewhere up in here this morning. And if we move down here, we are now 835 points off of the Dow in just a few uh, off that 50-day moving average in the Dow on just a few trading days. So that just kind of gives you an idea of just how incredibly um, um, bid up we are in anticipation of these earnings. Can they be good? Certainly, we could certainly see new record highs. We could also see the, the beginning of a correction if these earnings were to disappoint. So be really careful. Um, those that have missed have been punished badly. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, huge number of earnings this week. Uh, lots of speculation. All the big techs will be in here this week. So there's huge anticipation on these earnings. Notice that we're up here. We just barely kicked out to uh, new record highs here and we have that possibility we could go ahead and test and move on through to the upside. But I also want to point out this unfortunate pattern that could occur if we were to disappoint, and that would be the potential of the double high, a uh, double top. Um, hopefully that's not the case, but just kind of keep in mind that that certainly is still in play. Like it or not, it is there in the chart. And if we were to pull back, these pullbacks to price support levels could be substantially punishing if we were to miss. So just be careful in that racing in with the fear of missing out 
bidding up these stocks that are already stretched out significantly. Take a look at the Qs. QQQ also um, moving higher um, this morning. We're trying to push this back up. Now, the, as you can see, the NASDAQ has struggled just a little bit more than the SPY and um, the Diamonds. And notice that we still have some resistance levels above to be considering um, here in this chart. So watch that carefully. Big tech, this is going to be kind of telling here for the market. And notice we do technically have that possibility of a lower high trying to form here on the NASDAQ. If they were to slip and fall, that could create some issues here for the market. So watch that carefully and closely. Now let's take a look at IWM. IWM continues to catch lots of energy from oil and oil is up again this morning. We're seeing just a little teeny tiny pullback at the moment here um, heading into the open on the Russell. Notice we continue to struggle with this resistance of this downtrend and this little resistance high right here in the chart. We remained uh, or maintain a bullish move here, but we're still in this wedging pattern and we still haven't been able to quite prove that we can pop out of there and hold um, once we get through. So watch that closely. We're up at that area. You know, I, I mention this quite often in right way options. How many times do we have to fail along a price level? before we actually believe that it's true. So you wanna be a little bit careful here just in case um, IWM were to push back toward the downside of this wedge. Not saying that it will, just to watch for it. Then let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX had been a little bit volatile, well, it was a little bit volatile on Friday, pushing around um, in here, but let's notice we're down here at the lower price range here in our VIX. Now that can mean that we're just not afraid at all. It could also mean that we have a little bit of complacency in the market. So watch that carefully as these earnings roll out. This, this could certainly change dramatically, but I gotta give this up to the bulls because they are very, very tenacious in here. And we've broken this uptrend that we had that I was worried about for a long time. We're down here below price resistance levels in the chart. As you guys know, I keep pointing out this 20 handle. If we ever get above that 20 handle and actually hold up there, that's where the major problems start to come into the market. So right now, bulls have control of this and the VIX. There just doesn't seem to be a whole lot of fear, even though we have all of these supply chain problems, inflation problems, and everything else out there. We just don't seem to care much, um, which is relatively interesting to me, but um, that's okay as long as those bulls continue, continue to show that energy. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now I gotta tell you guys, T2122 gives me the biggest worry right now because if you go back and you follow this, go back as far as you want, um, when we reach these levels up in here, we normally see a sell-off, some type of selling that comes into the market. There are periods of time where we kind of linger up here for a while. And there's times when we linger, linger down at the bottom for a while. But just note that as we reach up here into these levels, we typically see a pullback of some kind. And we've been up in this area here for a while now, and that possibility of a pullback does exist. Let's keep in mind that if we can find some bullishness in here, we, we have just a little tiny upside potential um, that could occur in the chart. And then we, uh, if those bears were to find that um, reason to move, we have opened a big downside move. And that's why I kept pointing out in those charts the high risk of chasing these moves higher in case we were to stumble. Not saying that we will, but just be prepared for that in case it does occur. Let's take a look at our T2107. Now T2107, I've been talking about this for a while, and that is this ugly, ugly trend that we have had on these stocks that are above their 200 day moving average. But the good news is we have broken that downtrend here just recently and we're holding on to a price support 
in that chart. So notice we're getting closer and closer and closer to half of our stocks being back above their 200 day moving average. That's a good sign for the market. And if that can continue to improve, we could certainly see a little bit of levity come into the market just with that relief of these stocks coming up out of these lows. So watch that carefully. And if you take a look at T2101, T2101 has, well, uh, you know, market breadth has been kind of an interesting thing here um, recently. We're staying down here on the lower side of this market breadth. We would like to see a little bit more momentum in this occur. But essentially, as long as we, you know, continue to wedge around in here, we're fine. I do get concerned once we, when we're dipping down into this area, but we're hanging in here just fine right now. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar is one of those days that, yeah, you can yawn and, and move on. There's really nothing going on here on the economic calendar today. However, for the rest of the week, we will have to worry about this a little bit as we pick up. Notice that we're going to have new home sales and consumer confidence. These two, uh, I think that confidence number could be very important. Um, coming up. We've got durable goods. That'll be a really important number on Wednesday as well as international trade and petroleum status. Then we've got that GDP number. We've got jobless claims, pending home sales, patrol, I mean uh, natural gas report which probably won't do anything. And then on Friday employment um, index we've got personal incomes and outlays and I think this consumer sentiment number will also be very very important coming on Friday so kind of keep in mind we've got a lot going on this week with a massive amount of earnings so there's going to be a lot of volatility be very very cognizant of the the high risk that there could be in this market with all of the volatility so speaking of earnings what do we got going on earnings well i'll tell you what guys i can't cover all of the earnings reports today there are just there's a lot of them one of the notables that i will point out here um, after the after the bell today we're going to have facebook reporting and as you guys know facebook <clears throat> Well, there's been a lot of controversy around Facebook here recently and um, a little bit of trouble going on here and um, seeing the recent sell-offs um, because of that Apple decision uh, on privacy, that could create some issues here in Facebook as well. So kind of keep in mind, we're downtrending, moving lower here this morning on Facebook be really careful here. We've got um, Kimberly Clark reporting this morning. They've missed um, looking pretty ugly here in the pre-market this morning. We're going to hear uh, from like CCK today. We're going to hear from UHS today. We will hear from LOGI today. We're going to hear from PETS today. So an awful lot of reports coming out, but keep in mind the biggest one today and the one everyone's going to be focusing on um, after the bell today is Facebook. And then we've got Apple, Microsoft, Amazon. Um, uh, it's just going to be um, a huge week of earnings reports that could move us around. So be prepared for that volatility. Let's take it. And by the way, if you want the list of notables, just click the link below the title of the video, I'll take you back to those notable reports in the blog. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, that when you're looking at these stocks, these are not necessarily recommendations to buy or sell any security. Um, you need to do your own due diligence. Watch these charts very carefully. Because of the volatility of this market, truly anything is possible. So don't ever blindly follow someone else's trade. Let's take a look at a couple of these. And by the way, guys, I put out a video. Um, it, it landed on, on Sunday on the YouTube channel. Uh, a pattern that I, we call the tried and true pattern. It's a, it's a stock pattern of those stocks coming 
up out of a downtrend. Take a look at TLRY. And if you look at TLRY, there's nothing here to crow about just yet. But notice we've broken the downtrend. And if we can hold some price support in here, we could see those buyers pick up. Now, I got to tell you guys, I've made a lot of money on this pattern over the years. And I show you a real easy way to find this pattern. So kind of keep that in mind um, when you see these downtrend breaks and all these stocks that could be coming up out uh, from underneath their 200 day moving average, they may be the safer trades to take than the high flyers. I know everyone wants to be, you know, just anticipating, um, you know, Microsoft, but look how inflated this is at the moment and how much risk you would have to take to trade a trade like that. If something like this comes up out of this bottom, notice we could take a relatively low risk entry into a trade like this and have great upside potential where maybe the upside potential in some of these high flyers have kind of reached the point of pullback. So consider that carefully and uh, maybe watch that video on that pattern because there's a lot of stock starting to come up in that pattern. So let's take a look at a few um, others in here that could be setting up. Let's take a look at Cisco. Cisco has been trying to come up in a pattern here. And unfortunately, we did sell off here just recently, pulling back here, doggone it, just can't quite get her going here. Little bit of a flagging pattern here, as you can see, and that could prove to be a bearish flag. So watch that closely if um, Cisco were to happen to stumble here with the rest of uh, tech if they were, were to stumble. But on the other side of this, if Cisco can get going, this is one of those stocks that has been beaten down here just a bit. Notice we've broken that downtrend here. And if we can hold some support or prove to hold some support in here, this could start to pick back up. So um, worth keeping an eye on this in both directions. Take a look at Oracle. Oracle had a beautiful setup here on Friday. Notice this beautiful upside trend, nice little consolidating move here. Beautiful move there on Friday, pushing up. And I would say Oracle still looks like it has some upside potential here in this chart. So keep a close eye on it. Looking really, really good. I think we should also be keeping an eye on this AMD. AMD had a little tiny bit of rest on Friday. Notice this trend. It's a little bit stretched to the upside. But as we challenge this resistance high, we've seen lots of bullishness where uh, we just kind of ignore any resistance levels and we keep right on pushing. So watch this carefully. AMD continues to move up. And as you guys know, I alerted to this chart, everyone to this chart down here. So beautiful upside move since we broke that pattern. It's that pattern I just talked about. Breaking that downtrend, holding that higher low, getting that low risk entry into the trade. Bang, um, some nice winning positions. So keep an eye on that. I think it would also be a good idea, guys. You might want to keep an eye on some of these defensive sector stocks. Take a look at PepsiCo. PepsiCo breaking through resistance highs here. As you can see, PepsiCo looking at all time highs, holding some support level in here. Notice we pulled back, we're trying to hold. I'd watch this for that next opportunity. If that holds up, um, that could move on higher here in the chart. And, um, and let's speaking of um, kind of defensive sector um, stocks, take a look at Altria. Altria has been kind of an interesting pattern here. This was an ugly, ugly sell-off right there on that day. But notice we've picked this back up and we're trying to show a little bit of bullishness here. That opportunity this could pop out and keep on going uh, might be something to watch. So keep a close eye on that. I do want to point out um, silver here this morning. Silver's perking up just a little bit. It had a really big day popping up on Friday and pulled back with that shooting star. But notice that we're not giving up at this point. So breaking through this resistance up here, any rest or consolidation that holds in here would set up an opportunity for more upside. And let's just notice, here's that pattern again where we break these big downtrends. Now if we can prove to hold up here, we have that um, upside opportunity. So keep an eye on silver. Now GLD isn't as nice. GLD is still struggling. Still struggling with this downtrend in here, but let's watch that closely. If this can hold in this pattern, rest right in here, we might get that pop through 
in that area and um, get things moving here on gold. Talking about metals, let's take a look at FCX. FCX, doggone it, I can't type this morning. FCX, um, there's that little downtrend break right in here. Notice that downtrend, whoops. Just a second, my system changed tools on me automatically. And if we take a look at this, breaking this downtrend, and notice we held that downtrend right in here. There's that pattern again. And the bullishness that comes out of that pattern is truly remarkable. So watch carefully for those. And um, as you can see, now that we've broken above this resistance in the chart and we're holding it as support, I'd keep an eye on this. If FCX can find its trend here, and it may have to take a while. If, if the trend is clear out here, it may have to rest a long time. If we're still trying to figure this out, it could occur anytime in that area. So keep an eye on that. Pretty good sci, um, pretty good looking chart and that opportunity that that could move higher. Another uh, metal that you might wanna keep an eye on, you guys have probably heard about the massive shortages um, in aluminum and how it may affect industries all over the place. Take a look at this. We'll want to watch this as we push back here. We could see aluminum um, uh, companies struggle here just a little bit with um, that news. We've pulled back to this support, but if we can find some buyers in here, we would expect aluminum prices to continue to rally um, as a result of this shortage. So keep a close eye on Alcoa it might be something to watch and then of course anything in that oil sector um, has been really really strong and it looks like it's going to continue to stay strong now this is one of those fascinating points for me guys and it's something that i want to continue to continue to remind you of as we continue to push these lofty levels in the market let's keep in mind inflation is a major issue and we heard Janet Yellen out there talking about it. We've also heard folks now talking about hyperinflation potentially coming into the market. So be really, really careful here. Keep your eyes wide open on that uh, potential inflation and just know that every time oil prices rally, everything that we purchased buy and do goes up in price so keep that in mind as oil prices continue to surge well with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here i appreciate it thanks for those of you who continue to clip click those subscribe buttons and we're getting closer and closer to that 25,000 level in the chart like I said when we do that somebody's gonna win I do these personal carvings I, I, I carve um, wood and <coughs> excuse me I will be sending somebody a their own little personal carved Christmas tree so um, thank you everyone for those who support the channel and for those who continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link I truly truly appreciate it everyone have an awesome day we'll talk to you bright and early bright and early tomorrow morning I wish you all the best